Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to replace filters for the spark instrument. The filter slide is positioned on the front side of the instrument, behind the filter door. To move out the filter slides, one has to use the onboard control button Eject Filters. Alternatively, the filter slides can be moved out via the instrument menu in the Spark Control software. Two separate filter slides, an excitation and emission filter slide, enable the user to work with six independent filter pairs. For filters with an arrow on the side, light must travel in the direction of the arrow. For filters without an arrow on the side, the end of the filter with the metal lip must face away from the light source. Watch the direction of the light path on the excitation and emission slide. Choose an empty filter position to mount a filter. If you have to remove a filter, push the button next to the appropriate filter slot. Turn the filter slide over and the filter will slide out of the slot. To install a filter, simply push the button next to the appropriate filter slot. Insert the filter and release the button to secure the filter in the slot. Check that the filter is positioned firmly and flush with the bottom of the filter slot. Make sure that the filters are inserted in the correct direction as previously described. Be sure to handle filters with care. They are optical components that should be handled by the edges and not stored face down to prevent scratches. Open the filter door manually. For the ease of identification, the excitation and emission filter slides are labelled differently. Move the filter slides gently into the respective slots as indicated and push until the drive retracts them automatically. Don't push a filter slide further into the instrument when the drive has started to retract it. It is essential to define the newly mounted filters in the software. Please refer to the corresponding video or article. If you need any further help, please find detailed instructions in the manual or on the USB drive. Check out our other articles and videos on the Knowledge Portal. And please do not hesitate to reach out to our help desk experts.